I am so happy this it's my morning is it your morning Jade it's afternoon it's afternoon here. Yeah. yeah yay so I'm so glad this morning on my side and this afternoon on Jade's side to yeah. have Jade Thompson with us and she is with British Engineering Services and I will let her tell you a bit more about that and in her job role and whatnot but let me welcome Jade Thompson with us this morning. Thank you Sanya, thank you. Oh yes, yeah. so tell us a little bit about your job. I know we were supposed to do this recording yesterday and what I love yeah. about our field is that it's very unpredictable. Absolutely. So much fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't do the recording yesterday because we had a last minute emergency call out. We've had a customer with some failed vacuum pumps. So we've gone to help with the root cause analysis and to um, help with some commissioning tests to get the new kit back up and running. Um, so, yeah, it's a very wild industry where you never know if you're going to be in the office or on site. Um, always so, yeah, wear that comfortable the, shoes yeah. that's the one absolutely. thing I learned comfortable absolutely. shoes and have a change of clothes yeah <laughs> <laughs> absolutely that's correct oh um, my gosh. so my main job at the minute for British Engineering Services Asset Reliability is to develop all our current and potential future lubrication services that we deliver yeah. So the main one is our own oil analysis laboratory, and mm -hmm. we also provide lubrication services and products. We do a lot with filtration and sensors with regards to helping the manufacturers test the products and then rolling the products out onto customer sites. Um, I'm also the approved trainer for the company for um, the BINT lubrication analysis courses. Um, we are hoping to broaden the horizons with that as well and include some more training organisations into what we do. And then I also support the company and the laboratory from a technical point. So I have a really exciting job <laughs> that we do. I have lots of different um, roles within my job, if you like, which is good. It keeps me on my yeah, toes. <laughs> it does. So... Let me let me ask this very, very interesting question. Your chapter is about connecting STEM with yeah. horses, cage yeah. fighting, and everything <laughs> else. So it was it was it was a very exciting chapter for me because I'm like, <laughs> how how can you do all of that? And then you know, I'm like, wow, Jade really gave us some good insight here. So why <laughs> did you why did you decide to write this chapter for us? Let me let me ask that good question. <laughs> Um, I think it's really good to be a part of, of anything. But yeah. when you're a part of something that's um, directly influenced your own life, your own career, because for a lot of us, our career is our life. It's the, yeah. the biggest part of your day. Um, <laughs> so it was really good to be a part of something that is going to hopefully encourage other people to be um, really passionate about what they do, find roles that they never would imagine that they're in, which is where I found myself. <laughs> um, and I love the industry. I love the company that I work for. And it's just really good to try and encourage other people to get into that same situation. We all have stressful days. As long as what you're doing you enjoy, then the stress is all worth it and it's part of the job. So yeah, that's why I contributed oh, yeah. a chapter. And I loved, so I'm not going to give away a chapter, but um, <laughs> I loved what you did in that chapter because a lot of times people think that you can't interconnect certain things and yeah. they put those barriers out there. And what I've realized is that it's no longer a barrier until somebody breaks it. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you for breaking that barrier, Jade. We appreciate <laughs> that so much. <laughs> no, you're welcome. I really enjoyed breaking the barriers yes. and just getting people to understand when, when you've got a passion for something and it's part of your day-to-day -day job, you automatically apply it in your personal life and in everything you do. Yeah, definitely. So what would you say to others to inspire them in STEM? Like to get male, female, anybody, just inspire them into getting into a STEM related field. What would you say to them? Mm. <laughs> I think my main point is um, find something that you love in everyday life, something that is a real passion that excites you, and then figure out 
what the STEM influences in the background are. So what is it that, so say if we apply this to makeup or clothes, mm -hmm. what parts of STEM are in the background of that? Because STEM's in everything that we touch, we do, we drink, we eat every single day. Find out what's in the background uh, and then run with it. I mean, if you enjoy to be a part of projects, working as a team, STEM is absolutely for you as well as the soul workers, there's, there's something in there for people who like to work alone as well. But it's just about finding something you enjoy. There's always going to be an element of engineering or science behind that, that people can then make a real difference behind the things that they enjoy in day-to-day -day life. Oh, well, yeah, I, I hear you there with that, because if you don't enjoy it, you're going to be miserable. And nobody wants to be miserable. Yeah, let's face, let's face that. <laughs> so my role at this at the minute, I love the industry that I'm in, what I'm doing, the company, but I would have never thought this is what I'd be doing. So my passion was horses and science. So I decided, right, let's mangle that together. Let's do some equine science. And then I just fell into the lubrication world when I then decided I actually love the lab part of this, the laboratory part. It's brilliant. It's so fascinating. Fell into the lubricants industry to get some work lab experience and then never looked back. So I found myself here by accident. But if I could have spoken to myself 15 years ago, what I'd have been saying is find something you really love. And then look at the engineering or the science behind that and you will find a career that you want to be in. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> nothing, nothing takes that away from you. <laughs> <laughs> so I got here on accident. <laughs> <laughs> and we are happy for that accident, Jane. We are so happy for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely but you've been doing amazing things within the industry thank you so much for all that you've been doing I see all of this stuff going on and I'm like yes go Jade <laughs> you know so thank you for taking your time this afternoon on your side for staying with us this morning and telling us a little bit more about the chapter and how you can inspire more women in STEM and we are so happy that you wrote that chapter for us thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you for inviting me to write that chapter Sanya you you are also doing amazing work with your books with everything you do so thank you for inviting me to be a part of that it's been fantastic oh yeah so we will be talking to you soon and look out yep. to the launch of the book bye yep. bye